the little girl picks out her puppy. Little did she know that in just five years, he would become an unstoppable superdog. Penny is on the phone with her father, who says he doesn't have much time. Something's come up at work, so he won't be back for a while. She can't go back to the house either. Penny is very worried, but her father tells her that she's going to be okay, because he programmed Bolt with superpowers. Penny finds where her father is being held by Dr. Calico, who orders her capture, so that her father will be convinced to spill the beans. They are trapped in an alley, but Bolt uses his super strength headbutt to flip the car. He holds it and the man inside off a bridge, until he tells them what they need to know. Dr. Calico sends a fleet after them, so Penny tells Bolt to zoom zoom. With super speed, strength, and laser eyes, he evades agents on motorcycles, helicopters, missiles, and a bomb. They take their exit, only to be met with thousands of bad guys. Penny commands Bolt to speak, and when he does, everything in his super bark's path is destroyed. Penny praises her super dog, telling him he saved the day again. They take a selfie to commemorate the moment, and Penny carries Bolt over to their movie set trailer. When the buzzer sounds, everyone starts moving. Under review, a boom mic can be seen over Bolt's head, and the producer criticizes the sloppy work, saying the dog could have seen that. They want the dog to believe Penny's life is really in danger, because then the audience believes it, and it becomes the most genuine emotion ever caught on screen. Mindy from the network isn't impressed, and says the show is too predictable. The girl is always in danger, and the dog always saves her. She says he should spend less time worrying about the dog's acting skills, and more time figuring out how to keep 20-year-olds from changing the channel, or they'll be cancelled. Penny tries to get Bolt to play or eat, but he's on guard because he believes anyone could come to hurt Penny. When she has to leave, they are both very sad. Her manager says she can't bring Bolt home because he needs to stay on set, so he believes what's happening when they shoot. After everyone leaves, the cats come around to mess with Bolt since he's gullible. The filming process is extremely suspenseful because the crew keeps in time with Bolt without letting him know it's all fake. However, this time, while filming, they kidnap Penny and stop Bolt from going anywhere, locking him up in a cage as he freaks out. Penny tries to tell him she's okay, but her manager stops her. She knows he'll be freaking out all night and worries about him. Bolt hears Penny's voice from the editing room, calling out for help over and over again. He breaks free and charges down the hallway until he catches a glimpse of Dr. Calico's green eye symbol. He crashes against a window that doesn't give in to his super strength as expected. Bolt is then shipped via global freight to an entirely new location. Once he's freed from the box, he escapes onto the streets of New York City. He mistakes an innocent man for Dr. Calico, and once again his powers are useless. He calls out for Penny, having no clue where to go. He is nearly hit by a truck hauling something that looks like the thing that captured Penny, but it's just a porta potty. He meets other dogs out for a walk, and with just one sniff, they know he isn't from around there. He tries telling them his predicament, but he runs away when he's nearly captured. When his view is obstructed, he runs straight into an iron fence that can't be bent. He meets a few pigeons who help him out. Bolt assumes the styrofoam that's been stuck to him drains his powers. He asks the birds if they've seen Dr. Calico, but the pigeon can only try to rack his brain to remember where he's seen this dog before. Even though the answer is right in front of him, he can't remember, so Bolt decides he needs to find a cat, because all cats are connected to Dr. Calico. He says when he gets hold of whatever cat he finds, that cat will wish it was never born. The pigeons know just the cat. Mittens is lounging in an alleyway when a pigeon pays her a visit, offering a piece of an everything bagel. The next pigeon can't offer as much, claiming it was a slow week for him. Mittens' stomach starts growling, and she says if he can't bring her food, she won't be able to hold back her claws, and he'll become her next meal. Since he failed this week, he owes her all his food next week. Even though it isn't the deal they agreed upon, Mittens doesn't care and sends him away. The bird tells her that one day, someone's gonna teach her a lesson. She doesn't believe him at all, but then she's met with Bolt, who questions her about Penny. Mittens has no idea what he's talking about, but Bolt believes she's playing dumb. The pigeons affirm that she's the right cat, so he dangles her over a bridge until she notices his collar. She says if he puts her down, she'll show him where Penny is. They get a map from a little restaurant, and Mittens shows Bolt the route from NYC to Hollywood. She expects him to let her go, but Bolt says she's going to show him how to get there. She says that wasn't their deal, but Bolt doesn't care, just like she didn't care about the pigeons. Sweet irony, Bolt pulls Mittens along unwillingly, and she smacks into a mailbox. Bolt finds them the perfect ride out of the city. The pigeons still can't remember where they know that dog from. Penny's manager still expects her to do interviews and get on TV while Bolt's missing. Penny's mom tells her that Bolt isn't afraid of anything, and he couldn't have gotten far. Bolt and Mittens are traveling east, entering Ohio. Mittens searches through the moving boxes while she asks Bolt about the superpowers he keeps talking about. She finds a bat and tries to hit him over the head with it, but she fails. When Bolt sees styrofoam, he decides it would be better to jump out of the truck. When they land, Bolt sees blood coming out of him for the first time and asks if he needs it. Mittens says yes, and if he wants to keep it inside his body, 
he needs to avoid such reckless behavior. Bolt says he's normally indestructible, so it must be the styrofoam's fault. Mittens threatens him with it, but he distracts and subdues her. Bolt catches a whiff of a delicious smell that makes his stomach growl. Mittens can't believe she has to tell him he's hungry. He threatens her for the antidote, so she takes him to a cookout. She expects him to beg and use his adorable dog face, but Bolt doesn't know what she means. She teaches him what to do if he wants the antidote, but he hesitates to believe her because cats are disgusting, lying, and vile creatures. He follows her directions, and they find the perfect face that gets them their first bites of food. Mittens tries it, but she only gets a frying pan. They arrive at the home of a particularly unique hamster developed far beyond the average. He watches TV and recognizes Bolt outside the window. Mittens shows him her distended stomach and says this place is a gold mine and they wouldn't have to leave this place, ever. Bolt says she's being ridiculous because they must find Penny. The hamster comes out and says Bolt is the superdog legend that he worships. When he brings up all of Bolt's superpowers, Bolt is blown away and asks if he's been spying on him. He says he must be a phantom, because no one ever evades his detection. Rhino shows him his mark that looks like Bolt's and asks where Penny is. Bolt says she's been captured, and Rhino instantly understands that he must have captured this cat as a means of finding Dr. Calico. Mittens can't believe this hamster knows all about Bolt's crazy story. Rhino calls her despicable for trying to separate Penny from Bolt and tries to attack her, but wears himself out and decides they need her alive. Rhino decides he's joining their team. He says he's lightning fast, with razor-sharp reflexes, and he's a master of stealth. Plus, he'll keep the cat in check. Bolt challenges him and warns him there'll be danger at every turn, but Rhino is the bravest hamster to ever exist. Mittens pulls Bolt aside to object, but he's convinced Rhino is coming with him. On a bridge over a train, Bolt predicts their trajectory, and Rhino tells him every moment spent in his company becomes the new greatest moment of his life. Mittens refuses to go, calling them crazy. Rhino says every time Bolt did this on the magic box, it was awesome, and always worked out. Mittens asks if these are moving pictures, and Rhino says yes, adding that Bolt's pictures are the best. Mittens tries to tell Bolt before they jump that he's not a superdog, but it's too late. She refuses to trust him, but when the ladder falls off the train, it's up to her to save him. Rhino believes Mittens is sabotaging him, so he tries to stop her. Bolt manages to break his collar, just before certain eternal sleep, and they fly off the train, tumbling down to a spot with a tree. Mittens says the real world hurts, and Bolt is part of a TV show. For the first time he's bleeding, he's hungry, and his powers don't work. He doesn't want to believe her, but when his super bark fails, he worries she could be right. He keeps barking until dog catchers show up. Rhino returns with a ladder to get Mittens out of the tree, but he only sees the truck driving away. Penny's manager tries to trick her into believing they found Bolt. She knows right away it's not him. Mindy from the network tells her it's time to get real. If they don't get back to production, good people are going to lose their jobs. She assures her that if Bolt comes back, that's great, but for now, they need to move on. Bolt keeps trying to escape the containment on the way to the pound, while Mittens tells him that if she goes in there, she'll never come out because she's not adoptable cute like he is. Much later, somehow, Rhino has caught up to the truck and exits his ball to climb onto it and unlatch Bolt's door. He's disappointed, though, because he thought his powers returned. He discovers his birthmark is coming off and realizes Mittens was right. He says he can't do it, but Rhino can't believe what he's hearing. He gives Bolt the pep talk of a lifetime, because he's seen everything Bolt is capable of. He says Mittens needs a hero, so Bolt takes it upon himself. Rhino is so excited, he squeaks and gets his ball. At the top of the hill, above the pound, Rhino references one of Bolt's episodes, but Bolt asks him to enter stealth mode for this one. After they get by the first guard, Rhino offers to snap the neck of the second one, but Bolt suggests they find a way to distract him. It works like a charm, and Bolt easily gets Mittens out of her cage, after acknowledging he doesn't have powers. Mittens is proud of him for accepting the truth, even though it's disappointing. Rhino escapes the dog's mouth, and creates a slippery trail that ensures their effortless escape. They jump into a moving house, where Rhino celebrates the great superdog. It makes Bolt question who he is, since he's not really a superdog, and he's never gotten to be a regular dog. Mittens tells him what dogs do, and even shows him the toilet that they're known to drink from. She admits she used to live in a house with a dog and family, but says she's more of an alicat at heart. Bolt enjoys sticking his head out the window with his tongue flapping in the wind. He gets to experience dog-like activities as they travel across the country. Mittens grows fond of him, and when they reach Nevada, she shows him a place they could live together. He reminds her that he can't stay, because he needs to save Penny. Mittens tells him that none of that was real, even Penny was just an actress. Bolt still believes Penny loves him, but Mittens tells him that's what humans do. They act like they love you, then they abandon you, just like her family did to her. Bolt says he's sorry, but Mittens tells him to go, because she knows he won't stay. But it isn't easy to leave. Mittens can't even eat. Rhino immediately wonders where Bolt went, so she tells him he said he needed to face Dr. Calico alone. 
Rhino just walks away. And when Mittens asks where he's going, he says Bolt was just saying what any hero would say. But that doesn't mean he couldn't use their help. Bolt meets two pigeons that pitch a show idea to him involving an alien abduction. Bolt tells them he'll listen to their pitch on the way to the show's set. Rhino and Mittens arrive there too, just after Bolt. Rhino still believes the show is real, so he gets a little too eager when he sees Dr. Calico's picture. Mittens has to tell him that sometimes things aren't really how they seem, but before she can tell him the truth, Rhino sees an agent of Dr. Calico and initiates a full throttle attack. The actor actually thinks he's the cutest thing he's ever seen and talks to him like he's a baby. Mittens continue looking for Bolt. Bolt finds his trailer and looks at all the pictures of him and Penny. He hears her voice and finds her, greeting him lovingly, but before he can jump into her arms, a new Bolt takes his place. He is convinced Penny is just an actress that never loved him, so he walks away with a broken heart. Mittens witnesses that Penny was just acting with another dog, because she was forced to. During filming, the set catches on fire, because the new Bolt isn't as trained or skilled as the old one. Mittens finds Bolt and tells him she saw Penny after he left, and she's brokenhearted, just waiting for her dog to come back to her. Then Bolt hears something that Mittens can't. Penny screams. She's one of the last people stuck in the building. Mittens and Bolt race back to the set, and so does the guard that loves Rhino. Penny's manager runs into Bolt, and he recognizes him. With Rhino's help, Bolt makes it inside the building and finds Penny. Their reunion is cut short by falling debris and smoke filling the air. Penny tells Bolt to go on without her, and that she loves him. He refuses to leave her, and barks repeatedly into the vent. Rhino recognizes it as the super bark. After their rescue, Penny's mom tells the insensitive manager that they quit. With a new actress to play Penny, a new dog to play Bolt, and a major twist in the plot, the show just became totally unrealistic. Now, Rhino, Bolt, and Mittens all live with Penny and her mom, in a big house out in the country.